Um, good afternoon, everyone. So we might as well um, get a start. So um, thank you for um, coming to attend the, the webinar about tax statement automation. Very, we're very excited about about this new feature. Now, um, as a matter of introduction, um, so my name is Paul, and I'm the product manager for Class Super. So a bit about me: been working in the tax accounting and financial industry for the past ten years. And it's my job as plan manager to devise the product strategy, come up with a product roadmap, and also execute on the product features that you see for each release. Um, so, so, so far for me, it's very exciting to, to actually showcase this new feature. Now, before I start, just some housekeeping. Um, if you have any questions throughout this presentation, I ask that you, you actually put the question in the question box in your GoToWebinar, and our team will um, endeavor to answer those questions throughout the presentation. Um, at the end of the presentation, we'll collate all the questions, and, and, and I'll try to answer some of the more common questions um, um, on the air, and the ones that we cannot answer will we'll be in touch um, um, after, the, after the actual webinar. So, 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 so for Class Super, um, has all been, always been about helping um, accountants and administrators streamline their SMS administration and help you guys increase your efficiency, your productivity, and your scalability. And we've done that mostly by automating some of the common tasks um, for uh, in the administration process to give you more time for those more value added activities. And this feature, tax demo automation, is no different. Um, what? So before um, I jump into the, the feature, I thought, well, we can do a quick poll as to currently how long does it take for you to process tax statements um, for a typical fund. And what I'll do is I'll open the poll um, for about, about 30 seconds. I'll launch that now, and if, if I can get some, some stats as to how long does it typically take, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to um, see, see, see how much time saving we can provide you after, after we've gone through the tax demo automation feature. So, so while we are uh, going to polls, I guess I, I want to I'll also touch very quickly on the existing problem. So when we looked at so we're solving the the actual um, uh, problems in 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 SME administration. We we sort of looked at you know um, tax statement was identified something that that that, that that's, that's a major problem. Um, it's a bottleneck for SME administrations, and that it's largely done through a manual process and it's prone to data entry errors and requires quite a bit of processing and also reviewing. By senior and, and and managers, so 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 for us it was obvious choice to see if we can really help in 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 the, in the automation sphere. We looked at how many stats, and we found that eighty percent of our our class fund actually had one or more tax statement that requires processing, and in a typical year, um, um, uh, the we process over six hundred thousand tax statements. So 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 so, so it's a significant problem. Um, and, and, and the processing time is significant. The other thing, uh, thing was that with the introduction of Emmet, the actual processing of tax statement have been um, much more difficult. So instead of a one-to-one -one translation between the, the tax statement and what you enter in class, you actually have to do, do some, some, some processing and actually some calculation. And so it's beyond the, the purposes of how to go through Emmet, but, but, but in essence, Everyone I talk to have suggested that the, the processing is significantly more, more more difficult. I want to actually help with part of that process. Um, the, the last thing that's made processing tax bill more difficult is the recent um, ECPI changes, which came into effect um, um, in the beginning of the financial year. And, and and what that meant is for many of the funds that have multiple ECPI period, instead of creating the annual tax statement. At 30 June, for example, you will have to actually break that down into um, tax demand per distribution, and actually, and actually 
um, date them at the time of each distribution so that if they fall in the correct ECPI period. Now, the, the breaking down of, of, of tax demand and actually creating you know, you know, a, a number of tax demand per period can be a very slow and manual process. And we looked at it as a problem that we want to actually solve as well. So, 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 so with that, what we've done is it's actually um, looked at how can we actually automate this tax demand process. So, 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 so what we did is actually we sourced a number of tax statement templates, or you can think of ratios, for a large number of widely held securities, and 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 utilizing the income that's, that's already processed in class, we're able to actually um, apply the tax loan templates and turn that and and, and turn that into um, tax demand components that we can process um, tax demand for. So 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 so, so, so all this ratio that we have collected, we have to actually apply to your particular holdings and and actually turn them into statement ratios uh, components that should match the paper tax statement you, you receive from the actual providers. And we've done that for managed funds, um, exit listed trusts, such as ETFs, and also stable securities. Now, because of the way that the, the data source um, is collected, um, um, the support currently for tax automation is for directly held um, securities. And, 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 and what directly held securities are, are those that are not um, held through a wrap and platform. And the reason um, um, and that's the case is when, when you hold it directly, the tax time information actually comes from the provider them, themselves, uh, as compared to if you held, held it through a wrap platform, where the, the wrap platform themselves are actually responsible for issuing of the tax statement. Um, so, 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 and because there's different methodologies, way that the the tax statement um, templates and ratios are calculated, um, um, the data we 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 sourced um, are mainly uh, relating to directly held, which which based on our data is 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 a quite significant majority of the tax statement that having to be processed. So, 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 so obviously, class already offers um, tax statement automation for data feed. Um, uh, wrap and perform through our data feeds, and, and, and that has not changed. And the process of tax statement um, for, for, for those that are held through a wrap and perform is it, it has not changed as well. So what I'm going to show you is for, for, for those directly held either through one of the brokers um, and how we can actually automate that. So before I, I jump, the, the progressive for all of this, as I mentioned, um, is that we, we, we need to make sure that the actual cash distribution is finalized because we're using that to actually turn the templates into components. So, 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 so we need to make sure that, 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 that you fully sort of process your fund and any cash distribution has been generated. The, the, other, the other thing is if any adjustments you have to make to the income, like, like, like the accruals for, for the stable security, then you need to do that before you actually generate the actual tax statement, because if the in, if the income is not correct, then 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 the tax statement we, we generate off that will probably will not be correct either. So so as a, as a result, um, so what we've done is we just two two new things, um, and and because of uh, I guess the lay down as to um, we need to make sure that the income is 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 um, is, is all generated and, and finalized. We spoke a number of clients, and most of the clients um, actually process tax demand as a fund by fund, and usually consider it as a year end process, where they get all their income finalized, you know, and everything's ready, and then they process tax demand. So what we've done is we've sort of followed a very similar similar um, workflow by creating a fund level tax statement console, and I'll show you that 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 that, that, that in, a, in a minute. That tax statement console will allow you to actually process all your Tax, them, tax statements for your directly held securities, and it will show. Um, and and what it will do is is it will it will actually show a, a, a reconciliation between the distribution cash that's processed in the system versus the actual tax statement that's processed. So so previously, obviously, you 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 will just process your cash through general income. 
um, um, and 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 you create tax statements and sort of hope that the two sort of matches up and the actual report sort of does a reconciliation at the end. We want to actually bring that reconciliation um, at a time when you're actually processing the um, the, the the tax statement event, and we've done that through the console. Um, the other new concept we, we, we've um, used is this new um, annual tax statement event. And what this event instance does is, is, is that it actually uh, gives you the ability to either create an annual tax statement, which is what most people do, or um, if you have multiple ECPI periods, give you the ability to create multiple tax statements on a per distribution basis. So, so, so the idea where you have to prorate everything and, and, and go to your distribution tax statement event and, and, and actually um, um, you know, create one per distribution, we have a very easy and automated way for you to, 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 to do that. And, and, and for those clients that are in that situation, we think that will give you significant time savings. So, so I guess um, I, I might as well jump straight in, into the demo and show you what actually we, we, we've actually um, um, built. So, if, so if, I, if, I, if I jump into, in, in, into class, so, 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 um, um, th so, th so this feature was released in the March release, so all of you guys should have this particular feature. Um, there's two ways you can actually access this. Under periodic processing, there'll be a new option called Tax Statement Console. So you can click on this, and that will take you straight to, to, to the console. But as, as, as we all will do for, for tax statements, we actually go to accessory report first to actually check out how much tax statements, if any, that we need to, we, we need to process. So I've got a fund here where there's a there's large number of um, uh, tax statements that actually re um, requires processing. So so, so 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 thank you for those that have participated in, in the poll. Um, and it looks like the average is um, 30 to 45 minutes. I'm sure if you look at the the, the list of tax statements that's on this SEC report um, may take a little, a little bit longer. But um, 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 this is for the law people in processing tax statements. This is actually the starting point to, 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 to sort of work through their workflow. Now, 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 now previously you have to get to your paper statements, source all of those, go to the tax transactions, distribution tax statements, and process them one by one. And then come back here and make sure they 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 all they all reconcile. Um, now, for your directly held securities, all you have to do, as I said, you can go through the menu items. But there's the, the, there's online the link here. You can click, and that will take you straight to the tax statement console. So 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 what you can see here is that the console shows you all the holdings that requires um, tax statements for the. 1718 financial year, that's the first year that, that, that we, we support the tax time automation. We show you the number of distributions that, 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 that you have currently in class, and, 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 and that's good if you know that it's a quarterly, it's paying quarterly, and you only see three, it shows you may be missing one of the actual distributions. So, so again, um, this is all, um, all, all um, making sure that you have all the cash distributions events processed in class. The, the, the next column of distribution processed um, shows you how much cash distribution you've actually processed in class. And this is where I'm saying that, that, that we then do a reconciliation against the next column to see how much tax statement you actually processed to make sure that whatever cash distribution you processed must equal to the actual tax, tax statements. And, 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 and this console clearly shows the actual differences. Um, the, 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 the source column shows you where the data actually come from. Now, now, now currently all that says auto-generated, and what that means is that the data that's currently in those tax statements are from the class tax statement templates. Um, if, if for one of those that we don't currently support, that um, um, the status will say manual, the so and, and the source will also say send manual. If, if, if you um, open one of those tax statements and that says auto and actually update that with your own numbers, they will also send manual as well. So, so therefore, um, going forward, when you, when you look at this from an order perspective, 
you can actually see where whether the tax stamp information has been entered by the user or modified by a user, or actually you 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 solely relied on the tax statement from the um, um, from the class tax statement templates. So 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 so, so I might just open one up. So there's two options you can actually process tax statements. Um, when we did some research in, in, in this area, one of the things that our clients told us was that that, 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 that they want control. They want to actually review each one as they process. They'll be able to, to be confident that the, what they're submitting is correct. And, 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 and they want to make sure they have, they can, they can do that on, on, on a holding per holding before they get comfortable with the automation. And we've sort of support that, that, um, that, that, that workflow by, by actually allowing users to actually open one. So to open the, 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 the Vanguard. And what we've done is actually based on the cash distribution. Which is, which is this new event called annual tax statement. And we've got this um, table, which shows you all the, the, the distribution date, the effective date, and, and, and importantly, how much cash has actually been received for this, um, um, for this holding. And, and based on the cash distribution that we received and the class tax template, we've actually applied and actually derived the tax statement components that we place in, in, in the actual event. So, 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 so as, you, uh, as you can see, um, 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 this requires someone to actually manually go and actually work out those numbers. So, so, so maybe just for illustration, I'll, I'll go back to my slides um, because I've got a, I've got a um, good example. So this is the same example that, that I've, I've extrapolated and just showing you that this is a tax, the, the tax statement for, 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 for Vanguard, for VAS, one of the, the more common Vanguard things. And because of the way that the emits work, for a lot of the, you know, the, the frank distribution, the foreign income, because you're working off the attribution amount and not the cash distribution, you actually have to do some calculation along the way, work out which boxes go, go, go goes to where. We've actually automated all that for you because as long as we, we know how much cash all these are inbuilt ratio that we, we that there's so much come up with, and we will all inbuilt that within our tax statement templates. So, so, so we think this is a significant time saver for you. It helps you with your review process, and, and 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 the fact that we can actually match the distribution to 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 the tax statements means that you're never going to have any um, reconciliation um, problem that you have to then go and fix at a at a, a later date. So, 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 so I just want to show you the, the comparison between the actual tax statement and the, um, the paper tax statement and the distribution event just to show you sort of what we've done, the, the end result, and also how much potential is time saving that, that it's actually going to um, provide you. Now, this new event, it looks very similar to the distribution tax statement event. It's, it's built based on that, but, 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 the, but the major difference is that obviously, as I said, we will have this distribution um, um, cash summary, which shows you the actual cash events that are actually um, um, in, the, in the system. And it allows you to actually link the tax demo with, with, with the cash distribution, while previously there were two separate concepts. We've got this unreconciled unre distribution, which is currently saying zero at the moment. And, 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 and actually what, what, um, uh, what, 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 what that's good for is that if you're trying to enter manual one or for example, if I've actually changed something here, as you can see, this actually tells you, okay, I have 200 unreconciled distribution that I actually have to enter somewhere else. And, 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 and therefore it helps you to, to, to get to a reconciled state um, much, much easier. So, so I may go, okay, in which case I'll, 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 I'll add it in here. Sick. And then that, and then, and then let me just reset the event. And then you can see that 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 that's gone back to to um, zero. So 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 then now all you have to do is actually submit the actual event. And and um, that's all done. So so it's really really simple. And 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 and, and as, as I go back to the console. That's gone complete, and because I've updated the, the 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 numbers, as you can see, 
the the source has changed from automated to 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 to, to manual to show that I've actually manually manipulate the actual numbers. Now, that's one way we can actually um, work through the the, the actual tax, tax statements. Um, for any reason, if you want to actually, uh, you go, you know, I've done it one by one. I'm happy with, with, with everything. The, the 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 real the real value here is you can actually tick this box and actually generate everything all in one go. So 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 what I can do is I can go generate. Now before I generate, there's another thing that I'll, I want to to, to to quickly mention is is um if, is to save stable securities. Now now as many we know, stable securities uh, apart from processing the tax statement, um, this additional step you have to go through, which is actually fixing the, some of the income events, especially um, if it if it spans across across a um, a financial year boundary. Or, or if you have to break a distribution and actually break the the, the dividend component out. Um, now, 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 just so just to, to give the user some additional warning before um, for them to do, do that, we've actually given this warning message to say, within the, the amount of uh, of um, tax payments, there's one or more that are that there is a stable security, and and we need to actually verify the income generation before you actually. Um, uh, uh, submit the actual tax statement because, as I explained earlier, if the uh, tax statement is, is incorrect, um, um, uh, the the actual tax statement will, will, will also be wrong as well. So, so this is just additional warning. But um, and if you if, if you acknowledge it, so what we'll do is we'll actually go and actually process all of the all of this in one go without you having to, to do anything. So, 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 so if you think about the actual cost saving, that this is, this is quite a significant amount of um, um, time that can be saved for someone to go and manually, manually and to create um, um, tax statements. So, 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 very, so very nicely, um, everything is complete. Now, 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 now for, now if I go back to Access Report, and I think we're very familiar, and we, we, we love seeing these to go green, and I now refresh the page, and fingers crossed, everything's clear. So, so, so if you think about, uh, even based on the polls and based on 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 on, on the list of tax statement uh, security that require tax and processing, how long that would have taken you? I've done a really a matter of a couple of clicks, and that's experience we want our clients to actually to actually get to. And, and a lot of that relates to the the automation we can provide, the coverage of the of the tax statement templates, and and an ability to to actually build this the, this workflow so, so so that when you get to the tax statement part, it's not a headache. You go in, you go to the console, you 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 you, you, you tick the boxes, and then it generates everything for you. Now. Um, the other thing I want to actually um, cover is the um, EC, um, ECPI problem and, 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 and the ability to actually create tax statements um, per, per distribution. And for those that, are, that are have experienced that, um, um, from what I've been told, it's a quite a painful process. I've, I've, I've got this fund which has this particular problem. So as you can see down here, it's, it's got three um, ECPI period. And because it's switching, it's asking that the distributions be split out to so so, so they all sit within each of the correct um, um, ECPI periods. Now, easy for machine to do, but for someone manual to, to to do, it's quite a bit of bit of pain, especially you think of the number of actually tax time components that the breakdown has to actually occur. So 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 um. So, so, so again, this is another fund with a with a with a, a, a tax statement, and let me open them up and show you. So, 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 um, so this one has twelve um, distributions. So, so this is one that, that that pays monthly, and and if you get one of these, it's it's it, it's it's a real pain. So, so, so by default, we actually create all the tax statements at thirty June, and that is just so that. Um, um, you, 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 you create the one tax time at the end of the year, and that if you have to actually, if you actually process any period updates, it doesn't cause any any modified events or rollback problems, which which um, 
um, uh, uh, which can happen. So, but we've got this tick box here called the use distribution date. And if I tick that, what that means is actually it's, it's creating tax statements on a per distribution base where the effective date that we use to process the event is actually the same date as the cash, cash distribution. And if I, and, and you might have noticed that I have two tabs here, one called the annual and one called the per distribution. So if I click the per distribution, it actually shows the actual breakdown of each of the um, tax statements that you've created um, per distribution. And, and, and we've actually, um, and we've confirmed this approach with the ATO, is we've actually pro rata the, the annual um, against the, uh, the cash distribution for each of the, the, the distributions to create the tax statement on a per distribution basis. Um, and, 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 and also, so really, previously you have to create possibly three, maybe, maybe, maybe X number of these. Now, you, now all you do is you tick a box, hit submit, and we actually generate, in, in this case, 12 tax statements matching the distribution date. If I go back to the to the to the to tax statement uh, to the exception report and refresh the page, so so you can see those three errors relating to ECPI calculation method change and and, and tax statement processing are all cleared. Now all you have to do is 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 actually process your period updates and then that fund is ready to go. So, 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 so we're really excited about, about this additional functionality because, because we think there's going to be more and more, more funds that are going to be in these situations and, and, and for us to process the tax statement correctly, um, um, and, and due to the recent ECPI changes, we've had to actually go and make sure those tax statements are actually allocated to the correct periods. And, and, and until now, there wasn't an easy way to actually, to actually do, do that. And, and, we, and we think the processing of um, the tax statement automation and the and the new annual tax statement event will will, will provide um, that next level automation, especially in this area. Cool. So 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 so, so, so the last thing is is, is actually um, um, you may ask what's happened to the actual old old event. So so so. Um, we haven't stopped you from actually using the the, the old, old old event, um, and if you are if you are actually processing a tax statement um, that is held through a wrap and platform, this will be still the old event you you, you actually use, and 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 and, and that process ha hasn't changed. Um, um, now the only thing is if you try to um, process a tax statement for one of the directly held ones where there's a record in the tax statement console. What that means, um, uh, we will still allow you to actually do that. But once you enter a date that's in the 17, 18 financial year or, or after, we actually give you a warning message to, to, to say, please go to the tax statement console. We think there's a better way for you to process this. But for whatever reason, you still want to use the, the, the old way. Um, and we won't stop you from, from, from doing so. But, but, but based on the automation I've shown you, uh, we, we think that the much better way is for you to actually go and go to the tax statement console to go and process um, the the actual tax statements. But 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 obviously, if you're selecting one of the one that's that's in the previous year where we don't have the tax statement console, um, um, there's no warning and, 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 and you process. So, so the warning is more just something to to remind you that if you're going here as a course of habit. Um, that, 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 that we actually have a better way for you to um, process tax statements. So, so I guess where going going forward, where I think um, 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 the, 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 the optimal way to process tax statement um, would be that, 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 that you still go through to the um, accept report because that will look at the reconciliation across the old event and the new event across all your holdings, but 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 you should go into the tax statement console first and process all of the the the, the all of the, the the ones because you'll be able to process that very very quickly 
and, and, and if there's any manual ones, you will be able to actually process that within the same console. Once all of that is cleared, whatever is left should be the ones that are, that, that, that are either um, held through a wraptime platform, and for, and for, for those ones, you, you'll be able to go through the, to the existing distribution tax then event to, to go and actually um, um, process um, those. And then, and, 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 and then if you go and come back to the exception report, um, the, we, it, it should be all validated. So, 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 so um, we think that the tax automation feature has, has given um, our clients a significant you know, boost in, in productivity and allow you to actually very quickly process these directly held um, securities. So, 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 so um, just before, um, um, just, 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 just before I take, um, go through some of the, 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 the questions that, that you've been asking, um, um, I, I want to sort of um, um, go through the, the information that we have available because obviously you, you, want, you want more, more detail um, that, that, that we have done, we have in, 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 in our user guide. So, so if you go into here, and if you, if you search um, tax, uh, tax payments console, um, this is landing page, and and written a comprehensive guide as as how to process um, tax statements for the new new console, um, um, and 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 all the functionalities that that they, they, that that I've gone through. So so, so 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 please go 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 through this and make sure um, familiar yourself with the new features. But then you may have questions about you know you know what are the security, what are the widely held security that are that are that are supported. And if you click on um, on this link here, we actually have a very comp comprehensive guide as to the 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 list of widely held securities that we currently support, and it's sort of broken down by ex listed securities, managed funds, and and funds, and and, and and therefore that will give some guidance as to what's supported and and um, what's not. The the the, 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 other, the other thing is um, um, as many people may have um, asked about the is the you know so so the, the stable security and how actually you go about um, um, fixing the, the the income generation. Um, we've also written a uh, a very comprehensive user guide page. If you just search stable securities to, to go through some of the categories and actual and actual pro process. Now 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 now, now strictly speaking, it's this is this is our side of the tax payments, but but, but obviously um, um, I know that many of you use the tax payment um, that you receive from the provider to actually make these changes. So 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 so, so we, have, we have a very comprehensive guide that go through this this process. So please read that in your in your time if you, um, and make sure you're, you're you're familiar with the process. But the idea here is that you go through this process and then come back to the um, tax statement console to process your um, tax statements for um, stable securities. Um, and all this is available in the um, user guide and I highly recommend you go and actually um, read through them. Cool. So, so, so maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll quickly open another poll um, sort of because one of our beta clients have have sort of you know with went through quite quite a, quite a stringent beta process and and so suggest that you know that it saved them up to half an hour per per fund. I'll be very interested to hear based on seeing the the feature and seeing seeing how the automation works. What's the um, time saving you, you you think you'll be able to achieve for your firm for a typical fund? And I'll probably launch that now and I'll give you about 30 seconds to to um, respond. Um, I'm keen to see sort of the, the, the results and, and, and just see the value that we can actually provide to, to our clients. Because for us and as a product manager, it's all about making sure that the features we build give value to our customers. It, it, sol it actually solves a problem and that, you know, it, you know it's something, just something will, will actually make your SS administration process Easier and more and more um, efficient.
Cool. So, 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 so while, so while um, that is um, going, I'll probably just just um, spend the the the, the, sort of the last um, um, five minutes answering some of the some of the questions. And 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 um, obviously, if, if I don't get, I'm not going to answer all the questions. But for those that that I can't answer, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch with you after the webinar to 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 um, provide you um, some some answers to to, to, to those questions. Um, I guess um, one of the one of the, the first questions was um, in the in, in, in a console, um, and I'll, I'll bring that I'll bring that bring that back. That um, we have the status of reconciliation issues as to when how you get yourself in, in that position. Um, so the answer, so 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 once the um, tax statement event is actually processed, um, um, it typically will go to complete. But what can happen is if there's updates to the income event, so to the modification to the income announcement, um, um, you, you may get to a situation where your distribution process is different to your tax payment process. Will display reconciliation issue um, um, for um, uh, for you, and then it's up to you to actually review either the amount of tax payment process and actual uh, uh, actual dis dis actual distribution. Um, or, or the cash distribution, so that you can work, you can try to be yourself into a reconciled state. Now, the the one, one, one thing probably will actually make your life a lot lot easier, and and is that once the event is processed, there's a function called reset, which is going to be very helpful because what it does is it actually um, does it actually actually um, cancels this, this event. And create a new new event, but it actually looks for the updated cash distribution, looks for the updated um, class tax tax payment template information to then regenerate this. So for for any reason where you may have played around with tax payment events and it's gone out of sync, and, and, and you want you, you, you go, I, I just want the tax payment components as it was initially calculated. All you do is hit this reset button. It will go and do it. You will go and do its stuff. And then it will, in essence, reset the, the actual event. And if you go in, it's going to actually pull up the, 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 the actual latest data. So, 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 we, so, so, if you if you had changes in in um, cash distribution information, it will pick that up and uses the updated cash distribution figures to generate your tax statement. So, um, hopefully that that helps. But but hopefully that won't be something that 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 happens too often to you. Guys, because we, you know, the, the, the assumption is that the ta the cash distributions are all finalized. Um, the other information, the other question I've got here is, um, can I add my own tax statement ratio or templates? And the answer is, um, um, at the moment you, you, you're not able to. But actually, it's it's funny because we actually have, and if I go back to the uh, to the to the user guide, uh, we actually have. Um, um, a link to 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 a pro, to a process where you can you uh, if to, to, uh, where where if you actually send us um, paper tax statements, we are able to actually um, run that through um, our internal process, derive the tax statements that uh, ratios or templates actually, uh, and 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 then publish that to our database so that we can make that available to to everyone. So, so I think the process is, is, is if, you, if you give us um, um, paper tax statements, uh, ideally more than one, as many as you, you, can, you can provide us, um, where 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 um, for the same security, we'll be able to actually um, do that analysis and actually, actually um, turn that into um, templates. So we have this study process. How, how we go through all the details uh, in the user guide, guide page. So 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 please read, read through this. And then, and then we'll be able to um, 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 get that get, get that in. the 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 the, the real um, benefit here is once that template is published, you'll you'll immediately get available um, the benefit of those templates. And this is what will happen: is any of the um, security that is in the manual state will automatically update to generate tax statements, and you'll be able to actually either either generate. Yeah, um, individually, or use the bulk generate option that's currently in the um, in, in 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 the tax statement console. Um, 
And the last question I, I, um, um, I got was for the per distribution where you're, you're able to actually edit the, the per distribution calculations. So, so, so I assume what, what we refer to here is the, is actually ability to actually go into here and actually change the numbers. And, and unfortunately, the answer is we, we applied sort of the, 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 the pro rata um, um, methodology to actually break down the annual distribution to a per distribution. And based on the um, ATO um, um, gui guidance, this this is the um, uh, this is the this is the um, f fair and reasonable way of, of, of doing this. Um, um, if you need to actually many um, I, I adjust that, unfortunately you'll be able, you'll have to use the old existing event to actually um, uh, process that. But, but 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 we think that's a very 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 rare, rare case. We can we can have a look at some fur uh, further inf future improvements. Um, uh, but at the moment this is. Um, the per distribution is actually derived from um, the pro rata of the annual tax payment, unless we have more granular data as to the actual per distribution information, in which case we'll use that to actually populate the per distribution tax statements. Cool. So, so um, 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 thanks so much. So, so, so before I go, I'd love to share the results of the polls. Um, looks like about, about, you know, uh, just close fifty percent said it's going to save them more than 30, 30 minutes per fund, um, and, and and some have suggested that you can can go, go can, can go up to forty five or uh, up to sixty minutes depending on the complexities. So so it's really actually good to hear that that the feedback we're getting from our beta clients and our research is very similar to the experience that you're that 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 you're that that, 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 that you're speaking to us, and um and, and and you know we're very excited about about this new feature. And we are we're keen to you know to hear any feedbacks uh, about any further enhancements. So so um, thank you so much for joining us today, and good afternoon.